Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about moment area method. Basically in this method the area of the bending moment diagram is utilized for computing the slope and deflection. There are two moment area theorems. Theorem number one, it is to determine the angle between two tangents. In other way, I can say it is used to calculate the change in the slope between two points on the elastic curve. And theorem two, it is to determine vertical deviations between these two tangents. Or I can say it is to compute the vertical distance or tangential deviation between a point on the elastic curve and a line tangent to the elastic curve at a second point. Here I have this figure, I mean this structure. We need to find or we need to compute the slope at B and the deflection at mid span, I mean at C and at point A. And for this beam, EI is constant. So let's move ahead. It is a symmetric beam because both the beam and its loading are symmetric with respect to vertical axis of symmetry at midpoint C. And the slope of elastic curve is zero at mid span. And the tangent line at this point, it is horizontal. We can see that it is horizontal. As well, since there is no bending moment, we can see it here. There is no bending moment here and here. This is M by EI diagram. And why there is no moment? Because between A and B and D and E, it is unloaded. Now I need to compute theta B. It is equal to theta C plus del theta C B. What is theta c? Already I told theta c slope is 0 at mid span at c. This del theta c b total angle between two tangent I mean between two tangent at point b and c is denoted by del theta cb. In other way, I can say the change in slope between any two points, say b and c, on this smooth continuous curve, it is equal to what? It is equal to the area under this MIE diagram between these two points B and C. So area under the diagram between these two points B and C. So what is that area? That yellow part. This parabolic yellow part. 
area is this L by 2, ordinate is WL square by ATI. So, 2 third L by 2 WL square by ATI. That's the formula to find this area of this parabolic yellow part. And it is equal to this theta B. WL cube by 224 EI. So let's move ahead to find del C. We have to compute del C. As we know, tangent at C is horizontal. So, surely we can write del C equal to TBC. What is TBC? The vertical distance or tangential deviation. This is called vertical distance or tangential deviation between B and C. So what we will do now? We have to use second moment area theorem. Second moment area theorem. We have to compute the moment of the parabolic area, this part, parabolic area between B and C about B. Second moment area theorem. So, how to get that? Already we know this is the area. This 2 by 3 L by 2 W square by ATI. This is the area. In the previous slide, we used first moment area theorem taking only the area of this. But now, we have to take the moment of this parabolic area between B and C about B. So, about B means this part area centroid. About B means I have to multiply this area by this one, 5L by 16. So, already we know the area multiplied by this distance. We will get the moment and this is deflection at C, this one. We got this. Now we have to find deflection at A, del A. Since the cantilever AB, it is a straight line, so surely we can find del A equal to this theta B, this slope theta B multiplied by L by 3. Theta B already we have seen in previous slide using first moment area theorem. We got theta b. It is equal to this. So multiplied by L by 3, we get WL to the power 4 by 72 EI. This is the deflection at A. 
So I think we are done. Thanks for watching.